Okay. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to the January 17th meeting of the Northborough Historic District Commission. My name is Bob Light, Chair. Uh, pursuant to Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, an act relative to the extending certain COVID-19 measures, this meeting will be conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance by members of the public will be permitted. The order allows the Historic District Commission to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. All members of the Historic District Commission are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. Members of the public who wish to view the live stream of this meeting may do so by going to the Northborough Remote Meetings on YouTube via the link listed in the agenda. This meeting will not feature public comment. Each vote taken this evening will be conducted by roll call vote. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Um, so, okay, Leslie. Can you hear me, Leslie? I see you. Uh, Brian Swanson? Here. Amanda, I don't believe is here. Uh, Millie Milton? Here. Brian Smith? Here. And Tom Reardon, I believe, is at the uh, firehouse meeting. Uh, Bruce Shute is not here, or Lorna Helms. And uh, Leslie Harrison, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm trying to move uh, someplace else because the okay, thank I you. I keep getting dropped. Thank you. Okay, so the first agenda item would be the um, prior minutes, prior meeting minutes. I sent that around to everyone for edits. I didn't see any. Um, anyone have any last minute changes on that? Would you like to look at the minutes? If there are no changes, okay, can I have a motion to accept the minutes? Thanks. <clears throat> I want to make a motion to accept the minutes. Of the December 20th, 2020 yes. meeting. Okay, second. I wasn't here. Can I second it? Uh, I think I'll you have to I'll explain. Second. Yeah, I'll second. Okay. Okay, so, um, Leslie. Yes. Uh, oh, Swanson? yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Brian Swanson? <laughs> yes, and yes. Yes, yes. and yes. Sorry. Uh, Millie, I guess you have to abstain. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brian Smith? Yes. And I accept the minutes, Bob Light. Okay, so the minutes pass. Okay, so going down the agenda, um, I just want to an update on the CPA project status. The first one being the library sign. At our last meeting, we uh, approved the um, the wording of the sign with the correction to Amos. Um, Whitting, I think. Amos Whitting. Um, I was able to get them to put in Amos Whitting instead of AJ. Um, there wasn't enough room for the P, but uh, according to um, our vote, either one would, would have been acceptable. So we went with that. I put I placed the order in, and I have not heard back yet, but I imagine it's going to take a few months. And I know I was the troublemaker who raised it, but it turns out I did find AP somewhere else. So he was referred to as Amos or AP. So either one would have been fine. I like Amos. <laughs> yeah. And thank you. Th and again, thank you for finding that because that would have been embarrassing. Yeah. Plus they had the wrong initials anyway, right? It wasn't even AP. It was AJ or something. Well, it did yeah. say AJ. So we could have changed the J to a P, but. Right. Right. I that was my backup backup if they couldn't fit <laughs> Amos, but it worked out well. Good, thank okay. you. 
The um, the Howard Street National Register status update, I have to follow up on that. Um, again, they were supposed to contact me if there was any update. It's been over a year, so I imagine that's not a priority for them. The um, This may be covered under the um, CPC representation meeting, but the aqueduct marker uh, at the January meeting, I think it was January 4th, the uh, funding was approved to replace the aqueduct sign. So that's good news. And I think at this point, we are going to wait for the town meeting. I believe it has to be approved at the town meeting. And then as of the new fiscal year, July 1st, we can place the order for the replacement sign. Correct. Yeah, CPC approving it just means that it's approved to go on the warrant for the meeting. Right, right. So, and so, and if, there's no funding yet. So, we, we will wait. Um, I wanted to bring up also that uh, another CP, CPA application was for the first Unitarian Church steeple. And I just want to point out that I, I, I spoke to um, the representatives of the Unitarian Church just to remind them of the uh, bylaws that because they're in the historic district that they have to get uh, permission, they have to fill out the form, uh, an application for certificate to approve any changes that will affect the uh, outside of the building that is visible from the street. But then I was told that the steeple issue is more of a... Um, into an interior uh, redesign in order to prevent some of the leakage that they're having. Um, I believe, um, Leslie, I think you confirmed that also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So therefore uh, there is no need for them to get permission. I wanted to raise that here to make, to make sure everyone was in agreement with that. The, the Unitarian Church is familiar with the procedures for any changes to the outside of the building. I believe they did they did one in the past year, which required our uh, approval. Yeah. So they're aware of that, but in this particular case, I don't think it's applicable. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next on the agenda is the Westboro State Hospital, Chauncey Hall Historic Markers. Um, I think I mentioned that the uh, frames are up in 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 the spot where uh, the, it's the parking area of the um, remote con remote control airplane uh, field, and uh, they're still. Last I heard, they were still waiting for um, approval from the uh, Nipmunk uh, Native American tribe on their wording. So it's taking a little longer than than hoped. Uh, I will try to follow up, but I have nothing to report at this point. Um, anything else on old business, small projects that, um, see, Tom's not here. We had been discussing the DB Wesson archives mm. in Springfield. So uh, I'll, we'll, we'll postpone that till the next meeting. Is there anything else for old business that I missed? Uh, just the um, warp signs. Oh yes, the warp, yes. warp cemetery signs. Yeah, I keep asking Andy Clark if he's gone and looked, and he hasn't even responded to the last one. <laughs> so hopefully he'll be going around to look at all the cemetery signs. And I think uh, when you're up and around, if you pass any of our other signs, we should make sure they're still there. <laughs> I. Have I had done a tour of um, most of our signs and they were still up, fortunately, but it's always. Uh, what about the pitting? Just the quality of them, Bob, the ones yeah. that are pitted and. Yeah, I went over to that one over uh, on Main Street by the Azabit, the mill, the old mill sign. And uh, frankly, it didn't look that bad. I mean, there was some pitting there. Uh, I, I, I think I probably should talk to Crown about that. But it looked like the frame, if it's the photo I'm thinking of, the frame around it was all worn out as well. It looks for, for a sign that's supposed to be 50 years or whatever it was that Norm said. I know. It, it almost looked like rustic. It didn't look paying too bad. A lot of money. I know, and, yeah. 
I should I should probably follow up with that. I'll be talking to Crown soon as, as a follow up to the other sign. Mm. Okay, thank. You. Yeah, I think I think it's worth because if it's like this after ten years, you can imagine what it's going to be like after another ten or third. Yeah. Okay. Any other old business? Moving on to committee representate representatives update. Uh, first one is the um, CPC. Leslie, do you have anything else besides what we just discussed? No, yeah, just those two projects. Well, I mean, the normal White Cliffs, you know, mm -hmm. required um, paying that off. And then, yeah, both the other ones were, um, it was an easy year because we were pretty light on applications. And then one of the bigger ones from the rec department, they pulled that because it turned out the scope was much, or the cost, the scope was the same. The cost was much more greater than they had expected. So they're going to go back. So they retracted that application. So it was, uh, it was pretty easy because we were able to fund everything. And Wait, still they, keep stuff. Know, reserve, so. I'm sorry. I missed that. And still keep the plenty in reserves. We actually added to the reserves, So we were able to, um, yeah, so that was good. And the uh, the next round will be in the fall, typically, for the next set of proposals? Is it? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's an annual cycle. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's, a, yeah, so it's usually due in November. And then, yeah, it's the same cycle to... Get the applications in, evaluated, um, approved, reviewed by the CPC, and then, uh, and then town meeting, or actually voting on. So again, all CPC dot decides is whether they should be brought forward for town meeting vote. If it's not approved, they can they could be, uh, you know, they could fail a town meeting. But uh, so far, John Campbell has a perfect record. Not a single article in the. 14 or 15, every how many years it has been, but in a long time, not a single one has failed. Who who does the presentations at the town meeting? John usually does, John. not John. Yeah. Or. Okay. Okay, anything else on CPC? I think you froze, Leslie. Okay, we lost Leslie, so uh, when she comes back on, I don't think there's anything else. So we'll move on to um, master plan implementation. Okay. So. Oh, Leslie, anything else besides? Sorry, uh, I'm back. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I have my two bars now, but I still got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. Um, oh, for master, oh, sorry. So for master plan, um, we actually have a meeting tomorrow, a joint meeting with the board of selectmen to go over sort of the final um, bits for the downtown. Uh, that's really what we've been working on for the last two years, year and a half is uh, pulling together some goals and some some direction for the downtown uh, basically to, um, you know, see what we can do to improve our downtown. Some of the ones that, that um, we're focusing on are we have some short-term goals through the, um, you know, improve the aesthetics through public and private uh, actions, but also um, pursuing adaptive reuse of the town hall, and the fire station, um, we're big on that one. So hopefully those will be parts of the next step to for action into how we go into that, that process. Um, we've had some suggestions about that. You know, we're just, I think, waiting to see what happens with White Cliffs as far as their, uh, their evaluation for what to do with it next. It's sort of there's some repairs that need to be done, and then there's some some uh, questions about where to proceed next on that. 
Um, but the main focus for the MPIC has been on the downtown. Um, did you guys get a link for that a couple of months back? I think Norm said he was going to send one. And I don't know if everybody got that link. I got a link. Okay. Yeah. For Did, did you get it, um, Bruce, Bob, Leslie? Yeah, I've been getting them recently. I got, you know, I got from Laurie Connors. I got yeah. the like a week or so ago, and then I got just the new one today. Yeah. Okay. I got the one about the meeting tomorrow. Okay, but you guys didn't get the um, the natural, cultural, and historic link that that Norm might have sent back, like in September. I got it. I I got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I honestly don't remember, so I probably okay. did get it. Just don't remember. No, I just wanted to know if anybody else wanted it resent or just sort of to see where we're looking at so we don't end up duplicating things in the master plan that we do are doing in the historical, you know, so we can sort of align those goals. Millie, would you mind sending it to me again uh, later? No, I, I don't mind. I can resend yeah, that. I just, I just want to make sure I, I have it. Yeah. Resend that. Okay. Yeah, I can resend that. Um, so I think that's mostly it that I had for the updates. Um, like I said, we've been mainly working on the downtown, um, revitalization area and, and doing what we can to focus on, on how to keep the aesthetics of the town, keep it culturally and historically significant, but also bring in some improvements to revitalize the, um, some of the streetscapes. Amen. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else under committee representation? Don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, new business. Just want to point out that I was um, 453 Main Street. That's the uh, the Stirbrook uh, Farm Inn. Or the, I think it was also called the Deacon Jonas Bartlett House. So that's uh, that house is being sold or has been sold. And the request came to me about they, they want to do some renovation on the outside about putting up different siding onto the house. And rather than wait till this next meeting, but I wanted to bring, make everyone aware of this is that I basically said that because they're not in a historic district that we do not have to approve changes to the outside of the house. Uh, there's only a, obviously a demolition um, prohibition or delay that would take effect. So uh, unless anyone else has any other reasons why we should be involved in this, then we can move on. I'm a Assuming that they'll, it will be in good taste, but <laughs> once again, it's it's that's a big that's a big assumption, but yeah, right. yeah. But again, according to the bylaws, uh, I don't think we have a say in it. No. Okay. Okay. The next uh, item is the the new committee that we're forming, the Northboro Revolution Two Fifty, to. We start looking at significant events in 2024, 2025, and 2026 to commemorate the 250th anniversary of Revolutionary War activity. So we have our, our first meeting. I, I had a preliminary meeting, which I may have mentioned to you, uh, with uh, the Cultural Council representative and the um, Community Affairs. So we... Uh, Norm also gave me, uh, sent this around to certain people that participated in the Northboro 250th anniversary. So I have some more names of people that want to be on the committee. Um, as far as the Historic District Commission, it's myself and Brian Smith are, will be participating. So we have a meeting scheduled for a week from today, Wednesday, the 24th. Uh, at seven o'clock in the library conference room. So I'll have more to report at the next meeting. Uh, one of the things in terms of organization is picking officers of this new committee and also deciding whether this is going to be a formal Northboro town committee or 
mission or an informal committee of concerned citizens. Uh, Norm Corbin will also be on the committee. I think he's going to be representing, he'll be one of the Northboro Historic Society members on the committee. And he made the suggestion, which I think is a good idea, that the committee be a subcommittee of the Northboro, Northboro Historic Society. So it would not be a it would not be a formal Northboro committee where we would have to basically have yeah. meetings. So we'll we'll decide that at the at the next meeting. But I did want to get moving on this thing. I wanted to try to get this off the ground because things are start, starting to happen. Mm -hmm. Even in, in 1774, Northboro was very active and there was a few significant events. Most of the significant events occurred in 1775 and 1776. But as I mentioned last time, I think we, we already missed the Northboro Tea Party, which occurred in 1773, which actually predated the Boston Tea Party. So maybe we'll have to do a, a late commemoration of that. Okay. And of course, everyone is, you know, anyone is, in, is invited. Uh, right now, we, it's going to be uh, Brian Smith and myself attending that meeting, but uh, you're all, all welcome. Um, next item is the Northboro Historic District annual report. I've been told that we have to do an annual report sometime in January. I haven't heard from the town yet, so I need to follow up with them. So what I was planning to do is to draft the annual report if there's time send it around to everyone for uh, comments and edits. If that's okay with everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I, I need to check with the town to find out when it's due because they haven't notified me yet. The um, Massachusetts Preservation Fund has a... Um, I attended one of their um, proposal meetings, uh, information meetings, and they're open for proposals. Uh, it's a 50% matching fund program. And I know one of the attendees was the uh, Unitarian Church to see if they can get funding for some of their activity. Uh, has that, Did anyone else attend that by any chance? Okay. No. So it was just an information meeting about how to how to write proposals and um, you know what what some of the requirements are and the types of projects that are eligible, but it, it is a fifty percent matching share. So uh, the organization, which it, whether it be a profit for profit or non profit organization or a town, has to come up with the fifty percent funds. But those fifty percent funds could come from ARPA or from um, CPA. Hmm. If anyone is interested, it's uh, the website would be the Massachusetts Historical Commission is running it. Okay. I didn't have any any ideas that popped in my mind, but I, but I do do hope that uh, the Unitary Church does take advantage of it, especially since they may be able to use the CPC funding to offset their 50% cost share. So at this point, uh, one of our ongoing items was to um, review tasks under our chapter seven. So you know, let me just call that up and I'll we'll look at that. Just give me a second, please. You see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. How about oh. that?
Hmm. Sorry, one second. Okay, so just, uh, I think we've, it will probably pay to revisit this at some point, but we've finished uh, NH22, continue to promote awareness of North Borough's history. I think a lot of things that we're doing now, including the various signs fit under that category. Promote protection of historic properties, which include buildings, archeological sites, structures, documents, artifacts, landscapes, and agricultural lands is ongoing. Um, one, of the, um, one of the things here is, an, is the update of the MACRIS file, to see if there's any other properties that should be recommended for the MACRIS database. Okay. If anyone would, would, you know, think of think of some possible uh, properties that might be added at some point. Uh, I think we we used the hundred year criteria, but with the time going by, there's more and more hundred year old buildings. Hmm. I got one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What did you have in mind? Huh? Did you say you had one? Yeah, I have my house. A hundred year old building. Oh yeah. yeah. 1749. And it was the place that the Minutemen uh, marched from. So that's... That was uh, Captain Wood's house, wasn't it? Yes, Captain Wood's house. That I thought that was already on there. That's that is no, no, that, it's not on there. Mm. Hmm. I've got to look into how to get that onto Macris. I can talk to you, uh, maybe for the yeah. next, next yeah. meeting, or we can talk more next week. But yeah, that yeah. would that's definitely something that we should have. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, especially with the 250th anniversary coming up. Yeah. Of the of the of the Minutemen. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of good stuff here. The um Again, work closely with the Trails Committee. Um, that is seems to be mm. delayed. Uh, I think there's there's a lot of issues with that, but um, that's certainly something we we should liaise with the uh, Trails Committee about that. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any good contacts with the Trails Committee that they could run it by? I don't. No. I mean, I know Bob Mahalik. I can. 
Okay. Could you, would you mind uh, just seeing if you can get an update on that? Yeah, I can't take notes. Can you just send an email or text or something just with what it is that I'm... Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm having a hard time. Yeah, sorry. That's okay, no. I'll send you something. This is for the aqueduct? Yes, the aqueduct trail. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I can check with them. I don't think there's been any real progress on it. Okay, in the last um, section, I think it's the NA, uh, NCH 2-4, expand historical assets inventory to include additional resource type, time period, and geographical location. Uh, this is where uh, where the uh, Captain Woods house would come in, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll 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 do that and then I think we should also consider other properties. Well, there's a lot here. I think I need to um I think we all as a homework assignment need to review this list again. We yeah. did have some action items from the last couple of times, but I don't want to take up people's time at this point. Um so I will take that as an action item to um to if you could all look through the list and maybe come up with one of the bullets that we want to address as a short-term issue. So far, right now, we have the Captain Woods, Brian Smith house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that that's that's our one action item. So do you want, do you think, just come up with one, like, short-term goal or maybe three or four and then see if yeah. we can... Yeah, we should we should each come up with a, a goal and maybe some volunteers for some of these bullets, because a, a lot of the a lot of these items we are working on, mm, yeah, one or another. But we we want to look and I want to get to the point where maybe by next meeting we can put a few more new business tasks on here from the list. Okay. So I will. Um, I I'll, I think we all let's all do that. Um and come up with a two or three items that we could put as new business. Right now, we do have a, a full plate, though. Uh, you know, certainly the Northboro Revolution 250 meets the, the goals of what the Historic District Commission is doing. Our approach, it, rather than the Historic District Commission leading this, is to at least be involved in a uh, an inner um, committee um, approach. So we're right now we uh, in that committee we do have representation of the historical society, community affairs, historic district commission, and even the Northboro Cable Access TV. And I've, I'm hoping to get the library involved as well. So it'll be a um, we'll have a we'll have our historic district commission uh, representation, but it won't necessarily be led by us. Mm -hmm. I I have a question, Bob. The yes. mass preservation projects funding is that specifically for municipally owned properties, or no, no, it could be private as well. Oh, okay. In fact, I think um, it 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 kind of just said for municipal properties on that, so I wasn't sure. As in addition to. Private? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it covers municipalities, but also nonprofits. Okay. You know, I I might be wrong. I don't I don't think profits are included, but nonprofits definitely are. So okay. that's where the, that's where the Unitarian Church came in. Okay. But it can be municipal. Okay. Another uh, another thought would was was the uh, historical society building. Mm. For instance, they could. Well, okay. But there was a there was some very good presentation material online if if you needed to look at that. Okay. I think the first round of proposals are due March fifteenth. Okay. We can bring that up next meeting to see if anyone has any ideas. Okay. I, I didn't at the time. 
Hmm. Take a look at that. Okay. Are there any other issues before the commission that I might have missed? Hearing none. Um, the next meeting date, I just wanted to bring up that there was um, some concern about Wednesday meetings because, and I, I don't know the details, but it had to do with the IT, the people that are involved in Zoom meetings for us, uh, that there was other school meetings uh, that took place on Wednesdays. So Wednesday was a tough time. I did send something around to all the commission members, and there really isn't a very good day for us. I know Monday and Tuesday is a problem for some members. Thursday tends to be uh, have other other town meetings involved. So, uh, and I don't think Friday is a workable day. So if anyone um, has a better date than than Wednesday, we can we can raise it. The other issue is th this wouldn't be a problem if we didn't have Zoom meetings. So it may be that if we keep the Wednesday meeting, occasionally we might be asked to have an in-person meeting. And I think the general feeling of the of the commission is that Zoom meetings are more convenient. And we'll try for that as much as possible, but we 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 should occasionally have an in-person meeting. And that will alleviate some of the problems too. I think that's, that's fine. fine. That's yeah, fine that's with me. Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep we'll keep Wednesday and we'll tell them that if they really have a problem on a specific date, we'll have an in-person meeting. But we should we'll probably have two or three in-person meetings during the year anyway. Great. Okay. Okay, so the next meeting then would be the um third the third Wednesday of February, which would be the twenty first. Okay. Any other business? Hope I've everyone got nothing. Happy. Sorry? I said, I'm Leslie? sorry, I said I've got nothing. Okay. Hope everyone had a happy holiday and uh yeah. happy new year to you all. Motion to adjourn. Yes. <laughs> I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Okay. Leslie. Yes. Brian Swanson. Yes. Millie. Yes. Brian Smith. Yes. And I vote yes. So thank you all very much. And we'll thank see you, you in a few thank weeks. You. Okay, thank you.